Hello chat. Um, you might rem remember Sheldon from my previous video I made. Sheldon, say hi to the audience. Hi, my name is Sheldon. On my birthday, my birthday is December 30th. Thank you, Sheldon, for doing that. Um, that's what they really need to know your birthday. illustrated by Emily Miller. Let's give a round of applause for her. It's kind of a sad book. To anyone has ever felt a little crumbled. Bella, let your dreams be your wings. Emily Miller. Pete the Butterwalk. Starks and the pupa, which is the cocoon. Well, cocoons and chrysalis aren't the same, so I should say chrysalis because kind of. I love how she did the papers. It looks like like actual like lined up paper. So I love how she did this. Way up high in an old maple tree, a chrysalis hung for the whole tree to see. One day, the Christmas chrysalis began to shake as the creature inside made a soft chasing break. Pop out popped Pete, a beautiful orange butterfly, ooh, monarch, who basked in the sun to help its new wings strain and dry, while Pete relaxed in the warm August sun. August! My birth month! A nasty windstorm had just begun. With the wind with the wind blowing strong, Pete knew he couldn't hang on for much longer. He thought aloud to himself, I wish I was stronger. As the gusty wind blew and blew, Pete realized it was only one thing he could do. Come on, wings, he said. I can't stay in this tree. I must try to fly on the count of three. One, two, ah! Oh no, Pete fell! In the air, Pete went without a sound. But the wind blew harder and crashed him to the ground. When Pete landed, it made quite a thud. His body and wings were all splattered with mud. Oh no, poor Pete. I'm going to sit like this. I want to be able to see Sheldon, so let me just put it like that. Okay. When he went to move, he knew something was not right. The sight of his wings brought him quite a fright. Oh no, guys, his wings is crinkled. Zoom in right here. I won't move. His wing is crinkled. All right, unzoom. When he went to... Pete's wings were so tight and silky and tall. Now they were bent, crumbled, like, all because of his fall. He was so depressed and sad. Look at him. He's crying. Not being able to fly is a, is a butterfly's biggest fear. His eyes filled with tears. Pete crawled through the grass, not sure what to do. He wanted to be happy, but he just felt so blue. Pete suddenly wandered, wandered around and continued to roam when he bumped into an old garden roam, gnome. The gnome called out to Pete, What are you doing crawling around? This isn't the place butterflies are normally found. My wings are all crinkled, Pete sobbed and barely able to walk. I can't call myself a butterfly. I've just I'm just got butter walk. I think I need to give him some butter. So he's not so sad, you know what I mean? I gotta give him some butter. That's simply not true. 
Besides flying, I bet you can do anything a butterfly could do. The nectar, I need, I need, I need, the nectar I need is in that flower, way up high, P explained. I need wings so I can fly up there. The bloom's near the sky. That's too bad. What a shame, the gnome said with a wink. Though I bet you couldn't find a way if you just think. There's no way I can get that up that get. There's no way I can get that high, Pete thought, pacing around with his wrinkled wings. I'm doomed to stay on the ground. Your legs, said the gnome. They are they seem pretty strong. You've been pacing around on them all day. I'm gonna have to show the pictures. Standing at the base of the flower, Pete looked up at the stalk. All right, legs, he said. We're going for a walk. Look at me, Pete exclaimed as he reached the top of a bright, beautiful pink stone crop. I'm not going to move. You can zoom in if you want to see it. All right. Pete's face lit up with the biggest smile. I knew you could do it, said the gnome. You did it in your very own style. Pete made his way carefully back down to the ground. He felt like a king who had just been crowned. After the day of adventures, Pete knew he, it was true. He could do anything a butterfly could do, except fly. Though his wings were crumpled and oh, Although he couldn't fly, he would still be able to reach his dreams way up in the sky. The end. Oh, this is a picture of her and Pete. Pete the Butter Walk. Oh. Yeah. So, that's nice. Oh, oh, I want to read about the author. Emily Miller is an elementary school teacher who is uh, passionate about reading, writing, and her creating quirky doodles. She earned her back bachelor's. bachelor's degree in Eastern Michigan University and her master's degree in reading education uh, from Lourdes University. Emily spends her summers in Michigan raising monarch butterflies with her family when Pete when Pete came, a very special butterfly stumbled into her garden and its life. She knew what she had to do. She could tell the story of his life. What's on the back of the book? It tells about the book. Very so. nice. I like that story. Yeah. All right, so if you ever see a monarch butterfly, its wings are kind of crinkled. Maybe pick it up. Don't try to straighten its wings because it can. Those wings are very delicate. You could easily rip them. Um, bring it inside. Just carry it like this. Like pick it up like by its feet. And put it on your hand. Bring it inside. Wet its wings. And then dry them. Like smooth them. Like this. Like. Pat them down and then dry them. That's what you should do. That's what I'm telling you. It says right here on the back of this book. Whew. All right. Chat GG. 10 minutes of reading. So, let's say, let's say. Okay, um. Chat, uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment on Sheldon and ask him how his day was. Oh, and ask him how his day was. Don't.